As you can imagine, I get a lot of starter questions about Unity and game development. So I wanted to answer some of them starting with this video on what version of Unity should you use? It's a question as old as, well, Unity version 2. So here is my opinion, and note that last word, this is my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt and the fact that I've released many a successful game. So what is the answer? Well, when starting a new project, you should use the latest LTS version. And that's it. That's all you need to know. However, if you're not completely satisfied with this answer, then stay to the end and we can dig in a little bit deeper. Now, before I dive into the scenarios, let me tell you about the sponsor to this video. And that's Unity. Yep, who would have guessed? My first sponsor on this channel would be Unity. Well, looking at my content, it's kind of obvious. Unity is dropping some exciting news that a lot of devs have been eagerly waiting for, and that's that the new 2022 LTS is coming in June. And the blog detailing this release just went live this week. I will have a link in the description for everyone to check out, and you should definitely jump over after this video as it details several features that I know you've been waiting to use. Personally, I've been holding off on using DOTS and the new multiplayer for any of my experiences in production until they dropped as an LTS version, as in my experience, features are always more defined and stable once others have broken them over and over. I plan on covering my experience of moving a game to this version in a future video and knocking on the door of some of these new updates. Just let me know in the comments which feature you are most interested in. So if you want to read more about the new 2022 LTS release, then head on over to the blog. The link is in the description. Scenario 1. You are just starting out building a brand new game. Then like I stated, I suggest going straight to the latest LTS version. But why not the latest version of Unity, I hear you question? You know, the non-LTS version. Well, Unity's long-term support, or LTS, is by far the most reliable version of Unity you will get. Upon its release, you will know that it's been tried and tested for over a year. Now, the latest version of Unity might be all singing or dancing and super shiny, and I know how us developers like shiny objects, like new features. But these are oftentimes in beta which you can read as potentially unoptimized or even potentially unstable, as it won't have been tested by the vast majority of players and developers who like to break things. After all, don't get me wrong, Unity's QA is good, but it's not tens of thousands of people hitting it good. Scenario two, you have a game in development using an LTS version and the release date is some time away. Then suddenly a new LTS version drops. Well, does the LTS version give you anything? Is it time to perform a cost-benefit analysis? If it doesn't have any features you need or want, and you have a game that is running as smooth as butter, you are not a magpie. Ask yourself if you are just looking at a shiny option that can be left well alone. After all, upgrading versions can be an intensive process and you'll want to plan to regression test everything you have already signed off of as being solid. So you've got to this point and your project is still a way off and you decide there is a good chance it's worth upgrading. Well, then by all means, dip your toe in the water. Make sure your project is backed up. If you're not using source control, well, then you should stop watching this video right away and go and get it sorted. Life is too short to lose months of work because you're too dumb to get source control set up. So you have source control, well done. Well, I still like to copy and paste my project into a new directory and boot it up into the latest new LTS version, just to see what I'm dealing with. Did everything blow up? Can I fix a few bugs and get the game loop running in a fair enough state to see what I'm dealing with with this upgrade? Why do I create a copy? Well, even if I have source control, I don't want to have to play the game of rolling back in source control just to perform analysis of whether it's worth it or not. If it's looking good, I upgrade the project and then stick it into a new branch in source control ready for the full test and upgrade. Now, lastly, and maybe the most important scenario to drill into developers' heads. Scenario three, you're in production your game is awesome and your release is within sight. Then don't upgrade. It's that simple. Again, unless something will stop you releasing or that new feature or optimization will accelerate your game to new heights that your players will notice, why risk a delay in your release? Or worse, an unstable release that will burn that first impression from your players. Just don't do it. And that's it. Hopefully the short video helped some new developers out there and didn't come across as a grumpy old dev handing down lessons to a child that keeps trying to stick its fingers in an electrical outlet.
And I would like to say thank you to Unity for being my first sponsor. And remind you all again to head over to the linked blog in the description and check out the new 2022 LTS version for yourselves. There's one particular feature that might stand out for you. Let me know in the comments if you find it.